Hi, I'm Aurora Jones here. Today, I would like to share with you how you can add a disclaimer and privacy policies on your blog. Because as you may or you may not know, you really want to control what appears on your blog so it speaks well for you. You want to protect yourself and your blog from any prosecution. Why? Well, having a privacy and disclosure policy will inform your readers about some legal aspects of your website. Like in 2004, the FTC Federal Trade Commission in the USA started a huge attack on web-based businesses which did not have any disclaimers um, and privacy policies. So these websites or blogs were actually shut down and the owners were charged with hefty penalty charges. So if you want to find out how to add disclaimers and privacy policies on your blog, um, this video is for you. As you can see at the bottom of my blog, you've got here it says privacy policy terms affiliate disclaimer testimonial disclaimer i'm going to show you what it looks like like for instance here i've got an affiliate disclaimer so i've added an affiliate disclaimer i've added um, terms of use and then privacy policy so go to your back office and then scroll down and go to plugins plugins add new once you want plugins add new type in WP policies and then go to search plugins so it's actually the first one which appears here WP policies I've already installed it on my blog and it's by offline marketing tools so once you would have clicked on let's say you know like it says install now it would say um, successfully installed on your blog and where, what you will need to do is simply go to settings. I mean, that's the way it's being configured on my blog, so it might be different for you. But you will, um, you will go into settings, then you see WP policies, you click on WP policies, and this is where the magic starts. Okay, so WP policies 1.0. The first thing you want to do is enter your site name, your company name, your address, phone number, email, and then click on update options. Then, I mean, obviously, unless you know how to write um, policies off by heart, <laughs> um, you can simply go to import default policies and you click just right here on import policies. So here we go. Now you've got all these policies available. I actually, um, the first three I've actually uh, created them first to free myself, but this is what you're going to get on your um, policy pages. So these are pages which are already created for you, which are going to um, contain all the information, uh, all the information listed below. And you can still like read some of them, and if you see you're not really happy with the content, you can amend it, change it. You know, it's quite uh, it's quite easy to do that. And um, so to do that, you will simply need to go to uh, let's have got disclaimer here. Click on edit, and here we go. You've got this HTML content. So if you wanted to create now your own policy, you would simply need to go to create new page. And I've got one, for instance, called um, affiliate disclaimer. 
and I've created actually another form that I've called contact so you can it's really flexible so you're going to type in uh, your page title let's say I write down new disclaimer so this is what uh, your page title would be and the file name would be new dash disclaimer now in order to enter the HTML content simply go to um, your blog and enter and go to add new post so you will go to post add new and I start writing something like this is a new disclaimer or whatever you want really in order to access the source code simply click here on source copy your code then go back to your policy and whatever you had just right there paste it and then save the new page okay I'm not going to do it because obviously it's not what I need but um, when you will check all these disclaimers here you are going to find your disclaimers with your own contact now if you didn't want to have them you simply go to delete and you delete each one of them okay so I will be uh, deleting all of them later on now if you want it because what is going to happen is when you've got your different policies there will be a comment box at the bottom and obviously you don't want people to have to comment on it so what you want to do now is simply go to pages all pages and let's say I go to uh, affiliate disclaimer I will simply need to click on quick edit and then once I'm on click edit instead of having this box being checked I'm going to uncheck the box and then update the page okay so um, I hope this video did help you to understand how to add disclaimers policies as you can see on my blog below you know it's really to protect your blog and to protect what you say on your blog um, and if you find this video you know, simply share it you know google it google plus it if we can say and um, leave a comment on my blog so thank you very much for watching this video it's aurora jones signing off at aurorajones.com take care bye